guys, welcome to the EXO Mary Mag Show. Today I have my lovely TikTok ho co-host. Hi, I'm Aquia. What's up? What's up? <laughs> all right, you guys know that you can find me on all social platforms at EXO Mary Mac, and you can find you. You can find me on all platforms, Aquia the Rockstar, A-K-U-A the Rockstar. <laughs> so tell them about yourself, tell them what you do, how you got started, things like that. I'm so excited, guys. Okay, so my name is Aquia. It means a girl born on Wednesday, essentially from Ghana. So you know, like, in Ghana, everyone has a day name. So like, according to which day you're born, your name is that name. And there's only seven of them because there's only seven days. So yeah, my name is Aquia. I was born on Wednesday. And yeah, basically what I do is I create content on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, any platform, Triller, like you literally name it and I'm there. And um, basically like with content creating, I've been doing this for a really long time, but I just got into like being super active on TikTok when TikTok reached its arc in 2020. I was on there in 2019, I would be active. So yeah, basically I started doing TikToks. Um, I've always been a dancer, so what I do on TikTok is I choreograph dances, I make new challenges, you know, stuff like that. I do my makeup, I do my hair, I dress up. I just like being a creative person and TikTok really is like the best outlet for it. So I'm really excited about that. And I just am so excited to be here right now. Like you guys have no idea, like <laughs> about a two hour drive. But yes. it's definitely worth it because look at like look at the setup. Don't play. Okay, <laughs> period. I'm so yes, excited. Yes, we are inside of Street Capital studio at the moment and yeah. she loved the light so i had a whole little setup done i had it <laughs> i had it all nice and she's like i want to record in here period so i was like all right cool we just kicked oz out of his you know workplace <laughs> it's so cute in here guys so yeah it's nice it's a it's a whole vibe though it really is a whole vibe yeah. it's like the whole studio is pretty much a vibe yeah. so it, it works out it works out really well how long have you been doing tiktok for a year in about three years. Oh, now. three years. Yeah. Three it, years. Oh, you were just on there when it reached its peak. Yeah. Okay. Which which is great. So I've been doing it about three years now. Twenty nineteen is when I started, and it's yeah, that's three years. Twenty twenty two now. So it's super exciting. And with TikTok, like I'm trying to divert into music now, because like with TikTok being a content creator, you work so openly with music. I'm like, if I can like, you know, make your own songs and yeah, on TikTok. So like, what type of like what genre music. of music? Oh my goodness. I was thinking, I like regalia, but I can't master that genre. I like hyper pop too. Hyper pop is like music with a lot of glitches and with a lot of weird sounds in the back. I like that because it gets you going. Like, let me try and name some artists. Honestly, like, I don't even. Uh, uh, okay, an artist I uh, grew up listening to was Kesha. So okay. if that gives you any type of like route into like what hyper pop would be, Kesha isn't a hyper pop artist, but she does use a lot of like its tactics in her music. So like if I were to talk to someone who doesn't know what hyper pop is, I would probably like be like, okay, well, Kesha, like a subgenre of the type of music Kesha makes, basically would be hyper pop. So interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm not a rapper. I'm not a singer. I'm not a dancer. Um, I create aesthetics. That is. <laughs> what I do I am very good at content creation in that way and that's true that's um very true. but outside of that like I told you you're gonna have to teach me these dances because I don't know them like literally Oz taught me how to work TikTok I, yeah you told me <laughs> oh, shoot, Oz taught me how to work you TikTok me, I was like, like just do this just do this and do this and I was like oh I bet I got this down now so we do like very basic like videos like I don't do like dances like sometimes I might like do like the voiceover ones sometimes I think those are like I did one of those earlier today it was like um I live in the hood what hood adulthood and it's really ghetto I'm trying to move <laughs> like <laughs> oh I did that one it was funny because I'm over it at the moment like I would like to move back no I don't want to move back to childhood because I like my freedom but this adulthood thing yeah it's a lot child. it's a like, lot it's 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 a whole lot <laughs> <laughs> but i mean we're here now and so all we can do is make the best of it and that's what i'm doing <laughs> period literally period yeah i love it absolutely so what do you see yourself doing like where do you want to go to where do you want to take your content creation oh to? my goodness i want to take this literally to the next level like i want to 
just like how I said I'm diverting into music, like I wanna make a clothing brand, I wanna do music, I wanna do makeup, I wanna do hair, like I wanna divert this into so much as like as much as I possibly can. Like so that not only am I making incomes from every creative route that I take, but also just because like why not? Like you see people like Kanye West, like Kanye West is not just a rapper. Like yeah, he has, Kanye has, has exactly. he, he has black media pretty exactly. much. Exactly. So I, yeah, I like stuff like that, like how he has a clothing brand, he produces, he makes music, he he's a an owner of a lot of stuff. Like mm -hmm. he like what? Like, like he a does mobile. a lot of stuff. So he took one route and used that so like as a as a launch pad to like, you know, like be able to do more. Yeah, expand. Execute, yeah, execute all of his ideas. Like he used that as just a launch pad and then from that like he got to do everything else he wanted to do. And I like that. Like I don't want to just be good at something and only do that for the rest of my life. Like we're humans. We can do like a lot of stuff with our brains. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. we can do so much. Like I'm not about to box myself in, you know? So Yeah. Absolutely. Well, that seems like you got it, you know, pretty much figured out. If like I told you earlier, if I could do this in my 20s like i would have been so much further along but i mean now it's like okay let's play catch up it's working really well for me but still at the same time i kind of wish like back when i was younger i knew like hey this is what you want to do yeah. and i could have put all of my focus in that like i tell people like i taught i taught myself how to do everything off of youtube like no one like taught me i didn't go to school for it i taught myself off youtube and then i played around with it and played around with it until it came out to where i wanted it to how i wanted it to look mm -hmm. so i am like all for if you want to be a doctor go to school but i mean because that's what i went to school for i have a whole degree i have yeah. a whole biology degree <laughs> wow. um but i don't use it so yeah that is yeah. so <laughs> that's moving because no wait no because that's crazy I have a whole biology degree. I wanted to be an OBGYN. Wow. So nice. I wanted to deliver babies. Um, and then life happened and boom, we're here. <laughs> so as long as you're doing what you want to do, like I feel like that's all that really matters. Like, yeah. I mean I love it. I love I love my life at the moment. I mean it's a lot of work. It's it's a lot of work. It's not easy. It's not what you see on social media. Like I was telling you, it's what happens, like getting the content is only a small piece it's how you structure what goes on behind the scenes and yeah. the network that you build um the networking that you do it's it's more of who you know versus what you know yeah and so how true. you execute it and things like that but yeah it's a lot of decision making i've noticed that along the lines like you have to make the right decisions to in order to grow but it's also like dang like I do so much yeah like, it's a lot but like so once much. you set you a structure and set your boundaries like I told you before like it's eight pictures for me I was giving way too many pictures like letting them pick way too many pictures and I was finding like on the back end when it comes to editing I'm getting frustrated and this is what I like to do and so I shouldn't be putting myself in positions to get frustrated when everybody else is giving people five six pictures so it's like well come on let's go with the industry standard but still give them the same quality of work that you've been doing but just don't make yourself frustrated right. so it's just setting boundaries and what works for you because like being new to the industry or just coming in it's you perceive it to be one way but then once you actually get in like whoa huh, this yeah. is way different so like people on the outside think this is just like a constant party no, 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 no. <laughs> it doesn't quite work that way. It is nice. You get to see celebrities. You get to do all of that cool stuff. But at the same time, you're working. Like, I'm not sitting here, like, jumping in the crowd with everybody else. I'm making sure I got the best angles. Like, yeah. people aren't bumping me off the stage and all kind of stuff. So, it's a lot of behind the scenes and a lot of decision making, like you said. So, you just have to learn how to make the right decisions and how to have the right people around you to help you make the right decisions because no one person knows everything exactly so you need a team to help you exactly and help you help you guide to where you need to be exactly like i cannot stress that enough like trying to balance everything your own self is so difficult like trying to figure out how you're gonna do your hair lashes makeup all that Hold on. stuff but you had some questions for me Yes, okay. Same exact thing you asked me. I need to understand when you started. Because you said that. Because you <laughs> You're interviewing me. me? Yes. 
<laughs> yes, because you told me that you have a biology degree, and now yes. you're doing like radio hosting, and then on top of that, you know, you do a lot of videography and photography. So like, I need to understand how you do that. That's okay. pretty impressive because a lot of people would not like once they have their degree specific degree, they're not going out their way to do anything else. Like they feel like, okay, that's it. That's okay. what I'm doing. Um, so you want me to start from like bio, like college and work my way up? Is that what you yeah. want me to do? Okay. So I, my whole life, when I say my whole life, I mean my whole life, I wanted to be a doctor. Like since I was little, I've never switched and said I wanted to be anything else. I always wanted to be a doctor. Now, what type of doctor would I would go like, well, maybe I wouldn't like that, but I knew I wanted to be a doctor. So then I was like, I really love babies. Like I want to be an OBGYN. So I went to, but I used to like watch like the, I don't think, I don't know if they have it, like TLC where people, uh, a ba I think it's called a baby story. And they would like show people having babies. Like they would go, <laughs> I used to watch it all the time. It would be like, um, from the, I guess, maybe like six months up to the, the day they delivered their baby. And they would show all of it on TV. I mean, it would blur out, you know, oh, that, yeah. those specific parts. But they would show the baby being born. And it was so cool to me. I was like, I'm going to do that. Like, that's yeah. going to be what I do. So then I went to college. I got my biology degree. Um, then I, I got married. I got pregnant in college. Um, and so after I had my daughter, I was like, I'm going to take a break. And after my break, I was like, I don't want to go back to school. Like, that's not what I want to do. I want to be a content creator. And so I told you I have a mom brand. And so I started my mom brand then. So we were doing like matching mommy and me outfits. And um, I've worked for Target. I've worked for Disney, um, Lego. That is so impressive. <laughs> the dollar store, um, DiGiorno Pizza. Like I've worked for a, a bunch of people. Um, so then, um, she was starting to get like major endorsement. Well, I mean, no, those are major, but like consistent, like monthly endorsements. But as she got older, my daughter Noah got older, it was like pulling teeth to get her to take these pictures. She wanted the, the free things and she liked that she had a budget. Like she was getting paid from these at the age of three. So at three, she had like m people paying her monthly. Um, and it was cool we lived at the beach too so they would That's, get like yeah. these nice beach pictures and everything it was so cool um but then as she got around i'd say six i'd say six or seven around six or seven it was starting to be like i'm fighting you behind the scenes every time and we would have like a bunch of shoots to do so i'm like where we have to do I, you would set it up in a whole day so we would just get it out the way so maybe like one day out of every week, we're doing nothing but taking photos. She was over it. And I was over it because she was over it. It's, it was really hard. So we stopped. And I was like, well, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not going to force you. If this is not what you want to do, we're not doing it. So she was like, well, I don't want to do it. And I said, okay, cool. So what I should have done and, and to keep it going was just me do it. So in my mind, I'm like, well, let's, that's it then. <laughs> so... <laughs> yes I stopped I stopped because she was over it so I was like all right cool um I stopped making because I made our matching my Mimi outfits like I sewed them together myself um I stopped doing that as well which I probably shouldn't have like I have four sewing machines I have a serger um I have a heat press yeah I have a, I have a lot of things so not only do you do all this but you're also a seamstress yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah. it's casual. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, casual. Yeah. Okay. So, fast forward to now. Um, I was like, I'm going to start vlogging just us. So, instead of us taking pictures, we're going to start vlogging. And so, she was like, okay, I'm cool with that. Like, she wanted to start doing it. She told you she wants to be a vlogger. So she kept saying, can we start making vlogs again? Can we start making vlogs? And so we would just record whatever. If we went to the zoo, we would record. If we went to the beach, we would, we would just record whatever. And so then from there, I met Major. Uh, Major was the videographer that you seen when we met you. And from there, Major introduced me to, De to Jed. And then from there, we just kind of been working. That's awesome. So yeah. How long ago was that? 
um, what are we in? So eight months ago. So from there, um, things kind of just fell in my lap. Literally, I'm not even lying. Like, um, I was just happened to be in the right place at the right time. Um, I've got introduced to, um, well, I had to introduce myself. I'm super shy. I like to talk, but I'm really shy. So people take me being a social butterfly as I will just walk up to anybody and talk to them. Yeah, not my, <laughs> not my thing at all. Um, but Major knew that and Major was like, this is a really good opportunity for you. If you want the opportunity, you're gonna go and introduce yourself. And I'm like, no. <laughs> and he's like, yes, you're going to go introduce yourself. He was like, either you want the opportunity or you don't want the opportunity. And I'm like, fine. So I go up to um, this lady, her name's Boss Lady J. She's one of the owners of a club called Paparazzi in Charlotte. I go up to her and I introduce myself and literally like, I'm still introducing myself. And she cuts me off and say, oh, well we have celebrities all the time. I'll let you go on the stage and you can start recording for us. And so that's how I got my first club. Good God. Yes, the second club took a little more work, <laughs> but I got that one by just literally again being in the right place at the right time. I had went one of my DJs. He was G DJing at Club Superstars, and the owner had came in the DJ booth. We just started talking. He was like, "Oh, okay, yeah, we have we have celebrities come here all the time. We don't have a blogger. We would love for you to come and vlog." So yeah, so it's just a lot of being in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's from college to now that's awesome yeah and please you. explain what you do because you made, me, you made me you see how she made me you know explain introduce myself now I'm making her do that okay so okay so a lot of people have been asking me what I do they was like we see you with celebrities all the time but we don't know what you do I am a vlogger I vlog behind the scenes I do I do not do recap videos. I am not a professional videographer. I am a vlogger. I do everything like this right here, <laughs> this very show from my phone. She does it well. Um, <laughs> I do, well. I record all of my celebrities, everything from my phone. It was funny uh, when I recorded Wiz, it was a videographer there and he had his camera and he was like, do you care if I look at your footage? I was like, I don't care. He said, whoa, yours is better than mine. And mine is on a professional know. camera. And I was like, yeah. He was like, so you do all of your vlogs from? I said, everything I record is from my, from my phone. I said, I have a really nice camera and everything, but I only do pictures on that. I don't do anything else. So I do all of my videos on my phone. Mm -hmm. So it can be done. You can start with a cell phone. But you got to have a good cell phone. Now, some people's quality garbage but you can do everything you want to do from your phone if it has good quality so um i like to tell people i do bts behind video shoots i do studio sessions um i follow people around the mall if that's what they want anything that you want bts for i've done it um i have a radio show the exo mary mac radio show and I am a photographer. My studio is based here inside of Street Capital. And um, I went, I literally just went to her studio. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm so excited. Guys, I'm so excited for these pictures. You have no idea. Like, I literally have behind the scenes on my phone, on my iPad. Like, she ate. She has, like, this huge Canon camera that has, like, a flash attached to it. It's super cute. I literally <laughs> love it. I love it. I love it. Well, I love I'm it. glad you enjoyed it. I I'm enjoyed thinking, having you in there, too. I'm thinking of coming here. Like, I'll make the drive. Mind you guys, I don't know. I think I said it. I live two hours away. Yeah. And that's kind of why I, like, I just yawned. Excuse me. I'm so exhausted. I woke okay. up so early, and then the drive was long, and I'm doing this all myself. Literally came here alone. I think I have you beat. I work. I woke up at four. This Dang. <laughs> I woke up at four this morning. See, me in the morning, we're not friends. And we are not friends. But um, what was I saying? Yeah. Yeah, I think I need to come here again for another photo shoot for when I drop more music. Yeah, I didn't even tell you about the music, because I said I was starting music. Yes, but I didn't did. tell you specifically about how. Yes. Okay, so recently, like about a month ago, I changed my name on all platforms to Aquia the Rockstar. It used to just be Aquia Zero on my Instagram and Aquia Zero Zero on my TikTok. Um, I'm well known off that name, but at the end of the day, I wanted to change my name more to suit like a musical perspective 
honestly because like just my name with some numbers isn't really giving <laughs> title you know it's giving username it's not giving title so I wanted to change my name to more of a title so I did that about a month ago and I have a song coming out literally this month and I'm so excited I'm so you excited you can use the pictures for the cover that's what I'm thinking yeah but at the end of the day like I had already like previously shot my cover two months ago oh, okay so i was i was like let me not like undo like all of that hard work that you know i i, I had your other pictures are pretty bomb yeah they're and that hard. was straight from the camera no, that wasn't even edited not or like, anything i wish like i hope that she like literally adds them into this video because guys <laughs> I got so you. I'll, I'll insert them. I'll they're, insert them in. Yeah, they're so effortless. Like, it looks so good. I was like, I definitely need to come here again for another shoot for when I drop more music. Like, this should just be the station. Like, this is it's a studio in here. I need to record. After I finish recording. Go. Look, you hear this, Oz? You hear yeah. this? You, she got you. Only if this wasn't freaking two hours away. Like, why, <laughs> don't, you, why don't you guys have one based in Charlotte? Like, I would have been set. You know, I would have been set. But it's okay. I mean, well, they have, um, don't you Charlotte. have? Yeah, they have um, access to a studio there that they can record with you with. It's not the same. Is that a thing? Oh, you don't have the lights? Yeah. Starlet's pretty cool, though. Yeah. Starlet's, Starlet's is, is, is dope. You, I think you'll like it. Okay. So, and I have a travel I'm, studio now, too. So, okay. we can we can travel. We can pick it up and come to you. I got You have a, you have a travel studio? I got everything to travel. I don't know why I wasn't thinking it. You just find a place. Yeah. Headphones and all that can be plugged up, so you don't have to use the big speakers. But I got bigger speakers that I travel with. So, I do so take look, trips. So, there you cool. go. It's been so long. Locked in. There you go. We got you. It's like we told you to do the team. Like, we're a team here. I'm excited. We got you. Yeah. I'm kind of like, I'm really excited to start music, but I'm low key nervous because it's a lot. Like, all, like, shout out to all musicians. I literally see how much work you guys put into everything you do. Like, planning an idea, executing it, writing a song, recording it. Like, all the time you have to record ad libs and all the hours you have to be in the studio. That's a lot of work. And, like, not only that, but also being like, not every musician is like the creative director for their videos or shoots, but people who are like you're doing everything in one so props to you like i see how hard that is and i definitely want to go into it but i want to execute it perfectly so you know we're gonna i'm gonna stay in touch um bestie yeah. bestie is my song that i'm dropping and it's dropping this month that's all i'm gonna say okay like, i i'm not so choosing. you and noah should have did because since she's your twin you yeah, should we should, we should do bestie together <laughs> you should yeah, you absolutely like, should yeah but it, I don't know how, like, I was just telling my friends about this yesterday. Like, I don't know how I would make, like, a TikTok to Bestie because the lyrics are, he talking down on my Bestie. We finna leave him hanging like a testy. You know Nicki Minaj um, in My Chick Bad, her feature mm -hmm. in My Chick Bad, she used Bestie and Testy as yeah. a bar. So, and I love Nicki Minaj. I literally look up to her. Like, if you go to my room, literally there's a mural of Nicki Minaj in there. Oh, along wow. with, like, Young Thug and another mural of me. But literally, I love her. Like, all my childhood, I listened to her. It was her, Rihanna, and Beyonce. And then also, I like Kesha, too. Mm -hmm. But she was one of the only the white girls I listened to. Kesha was, like, one of the only. So you know I had to like her a lot. If she's <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, like, those were my, like, my favorite musicians. So, like, Nicki means a lot. And, like, I don't know. I always use Bestie. Like, if you're my friend, you'll hear me say Bestie because I'm literally addressing. I say Bestie, but there's different variations of the word Bestie. <laughs> Let me help you. So it's bestie, it's B E S T I E, and that's regular bestie. And then I say best, but it's it's not any less of bestie because I already like my friend KJ was like, Oh, when you say best, I'd be feeling like you don't really like I'm not your bestie for real, but like it's not even like that. It's literally like it's just an abbreviation, like it's a it's a nicer way to say best. Like, you know how like someone would say like sweetheart and then they would say sweetie, it's not like yeah. anything less, but it's just like a different way to say it yeah and then i say b-e-s-t-y which is also bestie but it's just spelled differently so like yeah yeah well i'm excited I, to hear this song yeah i mean I, is I it would kid it. appropriate no okay. <laughs> well, well no, no 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 it is it is it is it is kid appropriate it just has i don't cuss but in this song i did so i was like mm. So I don't know how I'm going to like, because when I performed it, I, oh, let me tell you. So I performed <laughs> I have so much to 
to talk about. So I performed Bestie literally a few days after I made it. But that was in May. No, no, it was the end of April. Mm -hmm. For Zay HD, I don't know if you know him, he makes music. And he a lot of his songs blew up on TikTok. I don't know. And I've made a lot of challenges to his uh, music. Okay. So um, recently, we just I just shot with him in Atlanta for his music video. It's called Get to the Money. Let's get to the money. Let's get to the money. Let's oh, get to the money. Let's get to the, let's I know. I don't know what he looks like, though. Yeah, but okay. you know that song. I know that song, yeah. yeah, yeah Everybody yeah. knows it's that song. It's <laughs> definitely viral. And I'm in that music video. Oh, cool. So I was like, let's get to the money. Let's, <laughs> she said let's yes. get to that money. Let's. Yeah, I'm so excited. I love it so much. But yeah, like, okay, You're so. hilarious. <laughs> So this is a breakdown. So Zay had a live performance for his um, album he was dropping. Mm -hmm. um, and I got to perform literally there as one of his, like, I guess, openers. Mm -hmm. And I performed Bestie. But that when I performed it, it was like a day after I made Bestie. So I didn't know the lyrics. But I still went on that stage like, ah, he told me that on my Bestie. <laughs> it's so cute. I love it so much. It's posted on my, I, I post it on TikTok and Instagram. I'm going to have to go YouTube. watch it. I'm going to have to go yeah, watch it. Yeah, it's so cute. But that brought me a lot of hype, like, feeling the need to drop it because, like, the audience was really, like, engaged with me. Yeah. It was super funny. It was just interesting to see, like, I definitely know that people are excited to see, like, what route I take on with music. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I but you, 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 you're you doing it right because you already have a core fan base. And you have a really large fan base already. So it should be easy to help break your music through. Since Thank you have you. such a, a big base of, of people you. that are already, you know, behind you and supporting you. Thanks. Especially you. if you make a dance to it, then it'll just That's keep moving. That's my thing. I don't know what type of dance I would make to Bestie because it's like... It goes like, he talking down on my bestie. We finna leave him hanging like a test. It's not like hips, 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 hips. Let's go. Pow. Pow. It's not get to the money. Let's get. To, it's not like something I yeah. could like. Well, then you have to figure it out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you have I to make your own lane. Yeah. This is like for me, blogging, like people don't know what it is that I do. Mm -hmm. And it's hard for people to wrap their head around, let me pay you for something that I'm not really sure what you do. Yeah. So I have to make my own lane right now. So that's what I'm doing. I'm laying the groundwork. So in the Greenville, Charlotte area, there's nobody that blogs the way I blog. There's plenty of bloggers, like food bloggers and clothing bloggers and all of that. But there's nobody that is like out here actively blogging um nightlife period like mm -hmm. um the way i'm doing it concerts um doing bts things like that so i'm i'm happening i'm having to create a need for myself mm -hmm. so create a need for yourself i am i'm about to honestly i'm about to you have to because i just inspired me because i'm always like when i was young i would always think of like i don't even know what i want to do like i don't know exactly what it is i know i need to do something and it's not like i could tell you what i don't want to do but I can't put my finger on exactly what, what I want to do. do. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I kind of do have to create a pathway in terms of what I like to do and what could be in my niche and like what I should stick to, like kind of how you said. I mm -hmm. think I definitely need to work on that for sure. Because even when you ask me what genre, like I mean, he's sitting here like, I can't even tell you what genre, but it's just like, I know what not, I, like what I want to do. Yeah. Type, so. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. What's the next question you got for me? Uh, what's your favorite color? Because that tells a lot. My favorite color? Okay, this one's tricky. Um, so, are we talking about just like in general in favorite general, color? Yeah. Okay, so I have two. Don't laugh at my second one. My first favorite color is yellow, like a golden yellow. It used to be pink. I used to like literally only wear pink. Mm -hmm. So like from head to toe, I would have on all pink. Um, yeah, that was... A phase in my life. Um, That's still a phase going on in my life. I love me some pink. So it used to be pink, and pink still. I like pinks now too, because pink's more of a neutral color. So if you do a light enough pink, and like I have pink fingernails ninety percent of the time, I just feel like it looks better on my skin. Um, it's really cute. My second is confetti, like rainbow oh confetti, yeah like, colors yeah. yeah. So like you know like how confetti like glitters like it's that's it. Yeah. Or like a gold, like a rose gold. That's kind of the same as confetti a little bit. Because when you move it, it changes a lot of different colors. So, mm. so That's yeah. so cute. So, so I usually tell people yellow and confetti. <laughs> so, yeah. What did they be telling you when you say confetti? Like, they oh, that's not a color. Yeah, they like, laugh. Oh, 
Darkest? I mean, but it's to me. I mean, periwinkle's a color, so why can't confetti be a color? What what color is periwinkle? I think it's like green. A, no, I think it's like a purple color. I don't know. I just know what the color. Uh, okay. That's all I know. Periwinkle reminds me of a fairy. Like I yeah, want to hear I wanna, periwinkle. I think of Tinkerbell. I want to make my own color. Yeah. I think that'd be that's cool. That's so cute. Do it. You know that you can, you can, you for real, you can do it. Like you can, um, I think you can do it with, like with Crayola. You can like register and make your own color. That's so cute. I want to make my own color. Like you can like buy stars. I feel like that's kind of redundant. There's 50 billion stars. Like, See, but like you can make your own color. Like Jay-Z Blue is a real color. Like he made his own color. See, like, this is the type of creative stuff I like to listen to, like, <laughs> stuff like that. Like, you're trying to trademark your own color. Like, people like to be in a box so much. I don't like that. Like, Well, I'm trying to be in a box. In a no, crayon box. don't be. <laughs> I'm so weak. I'm so weak. <laughs> yeah, I do. I want to I make my own color, for real. Yeah, but, like, for real, like, it's so much to do in this life, like. Yeah, and I'm, I'm I'm about to look at the rainbow right now and see like what color I can mix <laughs> together that somebody didn't take and I can name it after me. Like what? I like purple. My favorite color is purple, by the way. Okay. Purple, any shade of purple. No one's really like your twin for real. Her favorite color is blue and purple and black. Yeah. Those are yeah. her. Those are her colors. Yeah. So yeah. Noah, no, Noah is me. Like Noah is definitely me. When I was younger, I acted like her. Noah's a hot mess. She's not. <laughs> She's not. <laughs> the thing is, she isn't. She knows what she got. She knows what she's doing. The thing that she isn't. She knows what she's doing. She's she intelligent. Know, I mean, Noah's very intelligent. She's That's smart. what I mean. She's a hot mess. She's a, hot a step mess. ahead at all times. That's one thing I like about her. Like you think she think about she think about something completely different. She knows what she knows what she's doing. Noah be on the money though. Noah yeah, does. She's definitely so I just have well to like hone to. hone her in sometimes. I'd be like Noah, you can't like how she said about my face. She took called me SpongeBob earlier, guys. Um, <laughs> she's so cute, bro. Oh my goodness. She was like, you know what? You she didn't mean it. Yeah, like, and, like it hurt my feelings. I I told her it hurt my feelings, but she didn't mean it in a bad way. Um, like I have really large pores because I just have really bad acne and so the last step to fixing my face is fixing my pores but I haven't done that yet and so we're sitting in the car and she was like mommy it's almost Halloween you know what you should be for Halloween you should be Spongebob and immediately I knew what she was talking about I was like because my pores are so large on my face and she was like yeah I said no that's really mean she was like, well, I wasn't trying to be me. No, why? It just would have worked well for you. And I'm like, wow. Okay. Okay. So maybe now I should be SpongeBob, huh? No, it's not, <laughs> it's not even, she didn't even mean it like No, that. I know she didn't. She apologized. But I sort of like, hey, that really hurts my feelings. You know, mommy's really sensitive about her face. And, you know. You look great, by the way. You literally oh, thank look you. so good. Like. But Halloween's our favorite. Um, it's my favorite, and I think in in turn, because it's my favorite, it just trickled down to being her favorite. But we dress up. Um, we I usually pick one outfit, and we do it together. And then after that, Noah's probably... The most things that she... Costumes that she's had in one year is probably 12. So we, like, she's been Moana, she's been Cinderella, she's wow. been Jasmine. She had 12 in just one year? Yeah, like in one, As one setting. one? Yeah, we just, we, we, we I, I'm telling you, I love Real it. Real content creator. We, we, we make content. We, um, last year, I think she had, no, wait, last year she was a ringmaster and something else. So last year she had two. The year before that, I think she had four. She's gonna look back at her childhood and really appreciate it. Yeah, this we stuff love, like this that yeah. I wish that I could have done in my childhood. Like, I feel like Noah is me with a high end, like with yeah. a good, like, you know, like yeah. with everything I wanted to do. So when she was, before we stopped doing content creation, I was gonna start buying outfits cause she had a company that would just send her dress up. Um, so it was a Disney, co not a Disney company, a princess company. And so they had all the Disney princesses and things like that. And so they would send them to her all the time. And I'll show you um, a picture. She was Cinderella. I think I still have that one on my phone. So she had like um, jelly um, shoes on. She had a pumpkin. She had a big clock. She had a wand. She had her hair in a little bun. Like it was so cute. Like, um, but 
I was gonna start doing it like throughout the year, like dressing her up at all those throughout the year. Yeah. So it would it would be more. Um, and I still probably might since she's starting to get back into content creation and maybe we'll just do it more. But Halloween is really big for us. And the next after that is probably Christmas. We do a lot for Christmas too. Yeah. So, I love yeah. me some Christmas. Christmas is my favorite holiday. It's just it's, because of how festive it is. What were you gonna say? No, I was gonna say it's really festive. I love lights. Yeah. Um, it's all the colors and and everybody's so nice then. Yeah. It's like a break from reality because everybody's like super nice and it's pretty. It's so pretty and you get to give gifts. You get to get gifts. You get to eat cookies and like every year we have a gingerbread making contest. So we do gingerbread. Um, we take pictures, of course, then too. So it's really, it's really fun for us. Yeah. She, um, the elf on the shelf comes. Her elf is named Callista. So Callista comes and she brings her gifts or something random every, um, every day that she's there. So yeah, it works out. That's so freaking cute. And uh, one thing, like you said, like everyone's nice around like Christmas. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's also like the whole like holiday season, like after Thanksgiving, everyone's thankful, grateful. Like you see yeah. family and like, the, and like the cold weather just pushes into Christmas. Like right after Thanksgiving, everyone's like, that's when I'm putting up my tree. That's yes. when I'm getting, cause it's like a timing thing. So I yes. feel like around that time, that's when everyone is sweeter. That is true. Cause it is winter and that's like cuffing season. So I guess that's when everyone feels like, you know. Yeah, I like I like not Halloween. I like Valentine's Day too, mm. because you can decorate for that. I just like holidays, y'all. Like I like to decorate my house. Like yeah. if there's a reason for me to decorate, I'll do baby, it. Baby, <laughs> we're decorating. Let's get it done. Yeah. Like that is me. I am. I love decorating. I love throwing parties. Like it is for me. Chef's kiss. Yes, absolutely, yeah. absolutely, chef kiss for me because. I love it. Like, who doesn't like to? No, I know some people that don't. They're like, I don't care about holidays. Yeah. Like, why? Why yeah. don't? Why are you, you depressing? <laughs> oh. Why must you just off with you? Yeah. Get away. <laughs> but no, I am literally like festive. It is me. But Halloween is definitely my favorite. Now, I don't like the scary part of Halloween. I don't like being scared. Uh, I like you dressing up and making yourself look however you want to. Yes. You have an excuse to because it's Halloween. Yes. Like, and we're not even big on the candy. Like, we go trick-or-treating because it's just, like, the thing to do. But we have the candy we get. We don't even eat it. We're not really big on candy. See? It's, it's the dressing up for us. I'm always, like, dressing up, yeah. But I'm big on the candy. I need me um, some Reese's. I need me some Kit Kats. I need me some mm -mm. Hershey's. I need me some, what's that? Crunch. No. Crunch. <laughs> No, I need some crunch. we are not we're not big on candy we're not really big on sweets at all I know I, we got you a cupcake but um it's just because I really just wanted a cupcake for some reason I don't know I was like no we're going to the store and we're gonna get some cupcakes okay she was like okay <laughs> I have a sweet tooth so I like any like anything that has some type of sugar or uh, intense flavor I like it you know, it can't like be too, it. like my cupcake, I took all the icing off. I don't even know if you noticed that I took all the icing off. I'm not big on icing. Um, and it was like the weird fluffy icing. And so. I like the texture. No, I did not. I, like I told it. you I have texture yeah. issues. It was. Texture no, means a lot. A texture does mean a lot. But if it's the wrong type of texture for me, I don't like eating jello. Oh. Uh, yeah. I mean, I like jello. No. It feels weird in your mouth. You like applesauce? No, I don't and like the texture. You don't like then in Thanksgiving. You don't like the cranberry. Um, so, oh, yeah, there's jiggly. No, no, I, I don't like the texture. It's okay. It's like, <laughs> Cause I'm the same way though. No, but I don't not like the with texture. sweet stuff. Yeah. Ooh, no, I can't. If yeah. um, so like I only eat um, chicken, and I'll do turkey sometimes, but only ground turkey. But I don't mm. like eating boiled chicken. So like chicken and rice, I don't. It, if it feels slimy in my mouth yeah i feel the same way with like too crunchy fried chicken mm -hmm. like if, if if like if you just said hold up now hold up don't disrespect no, the fried chicken. no but like i love like <laughs> don't get me wrong i love obviously everyone loves fried chicken but if it's too crunchy to the point where i can't even bite into my drive two gems I'm not about to mess up my two chairs over some chicken. But if it's way too crunchy and I'm eating something on the side like rice and the rice is soft and I got to bite into some carved chicken, I'm not about to eat that. I'm you about know, to eat my rice. And like, I like to, I know you're not going to like this, but I like to eat rice with avocado. I know you don't like the texture of avocado. The interview is over. 
versus <laughs> end it all. Avocado literally is one of my favorite vegetables. Like, I eat it with everything. That's my source of, like, that's 99% my source of vegetables. Like, I my love... My little sister loves avocado. avocado. I, I eat avocado toast. I cut up avocado, eat it with rice. I, I will eat avocado with anything. I will eat avocado with eggs. Don't play. I love me some avocado. It's so... It tastes... It tastes weird. I wouldn't eat it alone. And the texture is weird. It's... A, I'll do guacamole. Mm. But I mm. won't do, like, av avocado. And then it, when it's cold, it's weird. I just don't. It's just, I don't... Yeah. I think... Yeah. You're right about that. I don't like... When people say guacamole, it really depends on what guacamole it is for me to like it. So it has to be like for me, I'm big on onions and tomatoes. Like it has to be like a pico, pico de gallo, yeah, mm -hmm. like a pico mix. Um, but just like straight guac, I don't. Yeah, I don't like cold guac. Like cold guacamole, mm -mm. avocados. The reason I like them so much is because they're always fresh. Whenever I get them, like I get them from the store, I over, like cut them. I eat them as I I cut them. Literally, like I can't have an avocado sitting around for too long and then eat it when it's turning time like trying to turn brown and stuff like no that gives me the ache that gives me the ache and something i don't like is tabasco sauce you don't like tabasco sauce no don't don't eat it it made me nauseous i hate feeling nauseous i like hot sauce i put hot sauce on everything i like hot sauce too like hot sauce and macaroni not from tabasco. hot sauce and I like spaghetti yeah hot sauce on pizza Texas Pete is good. Tabasco. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I'm do. Not Texas Tabasco. Pete's good. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite food uh, besides avocado? Jollof rice from Ghana, but not from Nigeria. I don't, I don't know. I can't high five you because I don't hey! know the difference. I don't know the difference. Ghana jollof is the best jollof. It's the best jollof rice. I'm not getting into this. We're not doing this with me. I don't know. I haven't had it. You're from Ghana. <laughs> We don't do, it's no if, and, or but. Um, Ghana jollof. I've had Nigerian jollof, and it is my favorite. When I tell you, I told you my best friend's Nigerian. Now, when I'm with him, I'm like, you know, all I need is jollof. Because you guys mostly, your your diets consist of a lot of rice. meat. Rice. No, a lot of a lot of, of rice, but a lot yeah, of meat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like suya and stuff like that. I don't do that because it's pork. I don't. But yeah. jollof? <laughs> I will mess some jollof up. Jollof rice is really good. Me personally, I don't have a lot of meat in my diet. I kind of cut off meat two years ago. And also, like, I don't drink regular milk. It makes me, like, break out. So I drink almond milk. Like, my diet is very particular. Have you, try have you tried oat milk? Oat milk is really good. Yes. Um, Noah calls it cake milk. Because it smells and it tastes like cake. Yeah, yeah. I like the consistency of it. Yeah, that so. that has a that has a good consistency. Yeah. Um, we do almond milk. We don't do regular milk. Um, but we do ice cream and cheese. Um, so yeah. But I've been thinking like, oh, I'm, no, I, I do it too because I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> I eat ice no, cream and cheese. No, but I want to cut it. I want to cut it out so we're not doing it as much. Um, because I used to be completely vegan. Wow. So I was vegan for about a year, and then I moved back with my parents, and then that went all to crap. And so now we're here. Um, but I've been slowly trying to move back towards, um, I don't think I want to be, like, vegan, but I want to eat cleaner yeah. than what I'm eating now. So, uh, but the dairy and stuff, I feel like it doesn't do well with my skin. So I want to kind of back off of it a little bit. I understand. But yeah. But my favorite food are uh, potatoes. So anything potatoes. French fries, mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, and greens. Like collard greens. Really? Yes. But you so have you to like soul food. Yes. But you yeah. have to know how to cook them right. Like well, I don't like yeah. them with vinegar. No vinegar in my greens. Do you like them with bacon? Some people cut up bacon and put them in the collard greens. So um. Like so I like it for the flavor, but I don't really, like when I make mine, I don't use any meat when I make mine. Okay. And most people are like, how do you make greens with no meat? Let's just try them. Yeah. You'll be surprised. Like my mom um, 
and well her grandmother taught her how to make greens and you know she taught me and she was like you're not going to be able to have the same taste because you're not using any meat and she tried them and was like oh my gosh these are good <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just because i like to eat clean doesn't mean i like to eat nasty exactly yeah. so yeah do you like noodles i forgot to tell you so i said jollof rice is my favorite food but like i like i'm not a picky eater but I do care about consistencies. I like noodles, specifically angel hair. Like the really thin, stringy noodles. I like eating that because of how it feels in my mouth. Like there's certain things, I'm the type of person like, it doesn't matter how something tastes, how it feels in my mouth is like 60 to 70% of how I, I, I want to eat the food. That's, so, I like that too, yeah. but it still has to taste good. Yeah. But um, again, you and Noah are like, you guys are the same person born twice. Her favorite food is noodles. noodles. Really? I yes. love noodles. They're noodles so good. noodles and chips. Chips. So like um she likes to have nachos for dinner a lot. Um but I of course I put um I don't cook meat, I cook vegan meat. So I put like meat well like she's not just eating cheese and sauce, like we'll have like real nachos. Yeah. Um, but noodles and nachos are her thing. Yeah, I love me some noodles. It doesn't matter what it is. It can be Asian noodles. It can be Italian noodles. It can now, be I like ramen. Ramen, ramen is, is not good. like the ramen in the pack. Like, a ramen bowl. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. That probably has to be, like, my third favorite food, I guess, because I already have two favorites. Have you tried pho? Pho noodles? No. Somebody asked me to try pho. Um, so I need to try it. I need to, because you're, like, the second person that said, hey, have That's you ever so tried pho? So I need to. They have that consistency. Okay. Of like the very stringy. It kind of reminds me of rice noodles. I like them a lot. Like I just and boba tea is good too. No, I love boba. I don't like the little uh, tapioca pearls. Yeah, I don't. I was gonna yeah. say I don't like the little pearls in them. No, I don't like that. Um, one is it's jelly and then it bursts in your mouth. It. Oh, no. did you get the what type of boba did you get? Because if you got like a fruit boba thing, yeah. But the regular ones you can chew them through. But they still are gonna bust when you bite them. Only the jelly ones. It's a no for me. <laughs> you just, just don't like them. <laughs> I just don't. Uh, and on that note, we're going to close out this vlog. <laughs> I love this so much. I love you guys so much. Thank you for having me. Tell them where they can follow you again. Yes. Okay. So if you want to go ahead and follow me on all platforms, my socials are Aquia the Rockstar. A-K-U-A-T-H-E Rockstar. R-O-C-K-S-T-A-R the rock star on all platforms i'll be there i'll see you there thank you so much again for You're having welcome. me like, this is so cute i love this You're so welcome. much when you guys know that you can follow me on exo mary mac no seeing my mac on all social platforms and we'll see you next time